Hey loves, thanks for coming back with me for another video. Listen loves, I want to thank all of my subscribers, my day oneers, my newcomers. I want to thank all of you guys for subscribing to my channel loves. I do. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Listen, I want to thank all of y'all for going down below, leaving your comments, and just supporting me, understanding where I'm coming from, and rocking with me. That means a lot. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Listen, trolls. Trolls. Listen up, trolls. Y'all, y'all are welcome here. You are welcome here, trolls. You are welcome here. Everybody needs somewhere to go, somewhere to fit in, somewhere to be. Trolls, you are welcome here on Mommy's Knuckles platform. You are wel welcome here. Yes. Yes. Here we love everybody, even trolls. Sweetie, you do matter. Don't let nobody tell you you don't matter. Trolls, 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 do you hear me? You matter. You matter here on Mommy Knuckles' channel, okay? All right, love. So, now that we got all that said and out the way, let's get into this video. Loves, I watched Reese's video where she was just gunning for Chrissy again. Gunning for Chrissy again. Now... In all fairness, and all honest, well, fairness, let me say fairness, because I don't know how honest she is or Chrissy is. I'm just going to say in all fairness. So let me say in all fairness, Chrissy did go on and was talking about some problems that Reese had. And was talking about, you know, Reese do a lot of thrifting, Right? Now, listen, loves, I'm going to state this. There is nothing wrong with thrifting. I do some thrifting of my own. I don't do no resale. So I'm not going to lie here and tell y'all, oh, I buy, I go to the thrift store, buy stuff and resell it. No, I don't do no resale. You know, that's a lie. But I do do some thrifting. If I go to the store and I see some things, I will get that. If you go back not too far on one of my videos, um, before the uh, pandemic and the quarantine, I did a few thrifting videos. So, your girl is a queen. Not a queen. I'm, I I know what it is to thrift. So, I do some thrifting, right? Okay, so let's state that. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. I actually enjoy thrifting, okay? Alright, so. But I want to go here. I want to go here. Chrissy touched on um, Reese having a problem. Uh, I can't remember exactly what she called it, but um, I could be mistaken. If I am, go down below and, and you know, let me know what it is exactly. But it's something like along the lines of like irritable bowel syndrome or something. Like, you know, when you can't hold your poop and it just go i mean i don't know i don't know if that's what she has or you know i don't know so like i said if you know exactly what it is she's suffering with go down below and um drop uh drop a comment for me okay so yeah so um she uh she got mad because chrissy put that out there but she said she wasn't mad but she got mad right because we all know Reese get mad. She got mad. Um, so then she went into saying that, oh, she is a brat. She come from money. She married money. Um, uh, her mother, oh, and condolences on your mom. I'm sorry about that. I, I truly am sorry. Her mom passed away and... December and her mom own group homes. She own group homes. And her husband owns 7-Elevens and Exxon gas stations. And she's married to, uh, I think she said Indian man or a Pakistani man. Okay. First of all, y'all. 
First of all, no Indian man and no Pakistani man is going to marry Reese's life. Her mannerism is off. They do not tolerate women with her type of mannerism. They do not like women with her type of mannerism. It's off. She don't even have the proper mannerism to marry an Indian or a Pakistani man. They require their women to be quiet. They require their women to humble themselves. Reese do not do neither. She's not a quiet woman and she damn sure don't humble herself. So that was lie number one. That was lie number one. They're not dumb type of men. They're not marrying women like Reese. She's loud. She raunchy. She rambunctious. They're not marrying them type of women. They're not the type of women that they look for when they look to take a wife. And usually, Pakistani and Indian men usually, I'm not going to say always 100, but usually marry within their race. They usually marry within their race. Because the women or the young girls in their race are brought up a certain way. They are brought up to act a certain way and to carry their self a certain way. And Reese is nothing like them women. They come from a very strict culture. And they have very strict guidelines and rules that they follow. And Reese is nothing like them women. Nothing. Now, it could be that she did marry an Indian or a Pakistani. That would explain why she's divorced now. Because they do not like women with the type of mannerism she has. So that would explain why she's divorced now. And all of a sudden now we hear that she's going to remarry the same man she divorced. It's the reason you guys were divorced. Are divorced. It's the reason you guys are divorced. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they can't come back together and make a unity. I think she's lying, though. And my opinion. Am I entitled to it? Can I have one? Oh, oh. I'm too old for one, right? Girl, please. Girl, please. So let's get on to this ring. So then she proceeds to get off the bed and go to her jewelry box and pull out her ring. Now, her ring is a beautiful ring. It's a nice ring. But the statement she made, it'll take, what she said, Chrissy would need a whole year's worth of rent to pay for that ring. I think you stretched that just a little bit, sweetie. I think I think you stretched that just a little bit. She, no, honey, no, no. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> you stretched that. It's okay though. It's okay. It, it's all right. I, I get it. I I get it. I truly get it. It's okay. But you did stretch that. Then let's go. Let's go back to her mannerism. She says, I'm an army brat. I come from money. I married money. Because I've come from money, I had to marry someone with money. This is what she said, right? Now listen. Listen closely. She says, her mom owned group homes. Her dad retired from the army. And her... Dad retired from the feds. And all might be true. It may just be true. But this is the part when she got me. When she said, oh, my husband owned, you know, the type, my husband owned businesses. The type like gas stations and 7-Elevens. That's the type of business my husband owned. 
Then she said, this is what really blew me. I pay a mortgage. Mortgage. I pay a mortgage. Okay. Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. I had to stop the video right there and put it on post. Because I had to think to myself. You come from money. Your mother owned group, group homes. That which I guess becomes you and your siblings now, right? And then your uh, husband owned businesses such as 7-Eleven and Exxon. But you pay a mortgage and you said your mom taught you something. Sweetie, you have no business. Paying nobody mortgage. The way you talk. How you come from money. How all of y'all are so well off. How your husband owns 7-Elevens and Exxons. Your house. That house you live in right now. Should be paid off. Should be paid off. You should not be nowhere paying nobody mortgage. Nor nobody car note. That house should be paid off. You come from money. You married money. And you let your husband get away. Leaving you to pay a mortgage. Are you crazy? See, you say your mom taught you something. If she really taught you something. She would have taught you to secure a roof over you and your kid's head. If that man didn't give you anything. If you didn't walk away from the marriage with nothing. You should have walked away with your house paid off. Paid off. So you wouldn't have to sit around making nobody videos. Or you wouldn't have to sit around paying your mortgage every month. Are you serious? You make yourself look and sound stupid, Reese. You make yourself look and sound stupid. I'm going to tell you. And, and, and your subscribers that's following you. Yo, I, I really hope y'all listening to what she's saying. At this point, Reese. You're just talking to be talking. You're just saying something because you can. Because you can. Girl, girl, if you coming from all of the money that you say you come from, and you married into all the money that you say you married into, why the hell are you thrifting then reselling? I mean, help me understand that. Why are you thrifting, then reselling? I'm not understanding it. I am not understanding at all. If I had the money you said you had, oh wait, and your kids can get new shoes every day, something for a year, I don't know, something like that. If I had the money that you said you had, I wouldn't be thrifting nobody nothing. I would not be thrift, thrifting nobody nothing. I, I really wouldn't. I'm just saying. I really would not. So listen. Miss Money. <laughs> Miss Money. Listen. You're talking to be talking. That's just it. That, that's, that's just the way I see it. Because I'm going to tell you how I know for a fact that you don't come from all the money that you want people to believe. And this was key to me. See, not only do I listen, but I pay attention to people's facial expressions. I pay attention to what's going on in their background. You know, I observe not just the person in the video, but everything about the video. 
So let me tell you how I know that you don't come from the money that you want people to believe. Your son or whoever that was walked into the room, hands you a plate of food. It looked like it was on a paper plate. I'm not sure. But he hands you a plate of food. And Miss Money took and set her food on her bed. Listen, you set your food on the bed. That's not an act of somebody that come from money. Because people that come from money hold their self in some type of standards. People that hold come from money got their nose, you know, flipped up. They think their things and their items are too good. They wouldn't have never dared, dared to sit a plate of food on their bed. That's not money. You don't come from money. Sis, that was a hood move. You come from the hood, sis. You set that plate smack dead on the bed. That was a hood move. You come from the hood. You don't come from nobody money. Listen, cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Stop talking just to be talking. Because you're making yourself look simple now. You said it yourself. Sometimes you need to get off the camera because when you stay on too long, you start rambling. You don't make no sense. And you definitely didn't make no sense. You don't come from nobody money, sis. Because if you came from any type of money, all the money you say you come from, you will not have no mortgage payment every month. The mortgage payment is for people like me. Old Joe, nine to five working girl. That's who pays mortgage. Me, I pay a mortgage. I'm guilty of paying a mortgage. I'm a regular Joe, nine to five working girl. I pay a mortgage. But Reese Life, aka Miss Money, ain't no way in the world you should be paying no mortgage. Your shit should be paid off. You don't come from no money. Stop talking to be talking. Stop talking to be talking. Listen, love, I'm gone. That's all I got. I'll talk to y'all in the next video real soon. See y'all.